Good Sunday afternoon to everyone, and happy Mother's Day. I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day, and that all the wonderful moms were honored. And um, I'm sure you may be thinking you had the greatest mom in the world, but that's impossible because I had the greatest mom in the world. <laughs> um, just a just another note about Mother's Day. You know, my my mom was uh, wonderful. She she always told me that uh, I could do anything I set my mind to do. She always encouraged me, and um, and I'm really thankful to the Lord that I uh, that I play guitar today because, uh, in large part, because my mom just said you could do whatever you want to do. For those professional musicians out there that make a living doing this, it's not easy to do it, and um, so I credit my mom to uh, just encouraging me. And I hope you guys celebrate your moms. I know that they are wonderful. And uh, okay, so. The first song I'm going to do is um, it's called Afternoon in Paris. About uh, a little over a year ago, I was supposed to play with a wonderful pianist, uh, Lenore Raphael. We were supposed to be in Paris, and of course, uh, everybody knew what happened last year, so uh, no Paris. Um, but I think about, uh, there's a couple of songs I like to do that have the that have Paris in the title, and this is one of them, Afternoon in Paris. But I know we'll be back one of these days. This next one is a great um, old. Uh, I think it's a Cole Porter tune, and it's a it's it's an American songbook tune. But the jazz world uh, over the years has played it often. It's a lot of fun. I always think of the great Jim Hall, 
who did uh, who did this song. He came out with an album back in uh, the seventies called um, Concerto, and that's my favorite recording of of Jim Hall. Every single, all the players on there, just Chet Baker, uh, Ron Carter, I mean, is Roland Hanna, all all these guys, just incredible musicians. And of course, Jim Hall. Every single solo on there is worth studying and and um, transcribing, and j- just a marvelous recording. Uh, this is "You'd Be So Nice to Come Home To." If you uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. You go to YouTube and you just type in Wayne Wilkinson, and there you go. Uh, Instagram, it is. Uh, if you go to Instagram, it's CO, which is abbreviated for the state of Colorado, CO Guitarist. Go to Instagram and type in CO Guitarist. If you go to Twitter, it will be at CO Guitarist. Um, if you get a chance, go to. Uh, the ja- uh, Wayne Wilkinson Jazz Guitarist uh, page on Facebook and hit like. That would be great. Also, to find out what we're doing next, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of shows coming up in the in the summer 
in the state of Colorado, and uh, you can find out everything that's going on there. Just go to the WayneWilkinson.com website, and you can find that. This next one is a, uh, a, Car- a Carlos Joe Beam song. You know, he wrote Girl from Empanema, Wave, all these incredible, incredible bossa nova tunes. And um, this is another one that I really love. I haven't played it uh, as much as I should be playing it because it's just a gorgeous song. And so I got my uh, lovely wife to help me uh, pronounce this correctly. It's called A Felicidade. And I think it means the happiness. Really, really, really beautiful um, bossa nova. And it has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of different uh, sections to the song, which is what I like. It just adds a lot of flavor and uh you go th- you go on a different journey on this tune to get to the whole song. So here goes A Felicidade.
The next song is uh, it's just an old American f- folk song, and um, I've always I've always liked the song. It's a beautiful, beautiful melody. Uh, I didn't really f- consider it necessary necessarily something I'd add into a repertoire, but I heard the great, the late great Johnny Smith play a version of it, and I thought, okay, that's good enough for me. If it's good enough for J- the great Johnny Smith, it's good enough for me. Gorgeous, gorgeous s- song called O oh Shenandoah. This next song is a, uh, I was thinking about coming up with a title for this. It's a blues. It's a blues. And um, uh, since it's Mother's Day, I'm going to call this I Miss My Mom Blues. Thank you. 
Coming to the last song for our show. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Um, honor that you took the time to spend a little time with us. And um, the hymn I'm going to end with is uh, it's just an old uh, gospel hymn. I tried to find the uh, the date that it was written. I, and I didn't have much success. It's just an old song called I Got a River of Life. The um, I've got six um cds out that are that are on, on my name uh, and the very first cd that i did was back in 2001 and um that was a uh that was a cd of all uh it was all hymns and what they call uh, worship and praise music that a lot of the churches do nowadays and um one of the songs on that recording it's called music from the heart uh i put um I've got a river of life on there, and um, man, there were some great guys that I ha had on that CD. Um, one in particular, his name was Chris Fidala, and he was a great saxophone player. lived in the Washington D.C. area, but if any of you are old enough to remember, uh, back in the '70s and '80s, uh, the Chuck Mangione, he did, he he became very popular. Kind of, he was one of the forerunners of. I guess you'd say the smooth jazz kind of world, maybe. maybe. Uh, wonderful, wonderful musician, and um, he was uh, he surrounded himself with wonderful musicians too. And Chris Vidala was one, one that uh, was with him for quite a long time. And I called up Chris Vidala because when I was in the Airman a Note, we did a uh, concert with him, and I said, "Would you mind uh, playing on my uh, recording?" And he said, no, not at all. So here goes, I've got a river of life. Thank you so much again for tuning in. God bless. See you next time. Remember, God loves you. We'll see you next time. <laughs>